Hey guys and ladies, as you can see, I'm back at school now, and I really hate to say that, but yeah, it's that time of the year again. But in a way, I really uh, haven't did many reviews on the iMac itself, really because it's been like 10,000 reviews already out there on YouTube, but there have been some things about the iMac that I really just didn't like, and that's the keyboard and the Magic Mouse. Now, it is some features that these two do have that I, I do like, but on the most part, it was just something that was really just bugging me, and I had to find uh, something else to replace that. But I'm just going to do two separate reviews on that and just show you what I use to replace these. But just to give a little overview about the actual uh, iMac keyboard, this is like a regular keyboard that you find on the notebooks. And it's a really nice keyboard. It's very thin. It's Bluetooth. And... Overall, the way it looks, it's nice. It really matches the iMac. So, but the only thing that really got me was the comfort. When I'm sitting at a at a desktop computer, uh, I really want to be as comfortable as possible because I'm sitting at that computer for maybe a few hours doing I don't know whatever it is, homework, maybe playing a game or something like that. But if for a laptop, that's fine. But it was really just the comfort that I that I really didn't like. So. Let me just show you what I actually uh, bought to replace this keyboard, and so far, I, I think I'm going to be really uh, happy with my choice. Alright, so what I decided to replace the standard iMac uh, Bluetooth wireless keyboard with was the Denovo Edge Mac Edition keyboard from Logitech. And this um, keyboard I actually purchased off eBay for around $79, really great deal. They don't have this on the Logitech website, and I'm not sure why. They have a PC edition, but not the Mac edition. You can also find the Mac edition on the Amazon website for about $139. So I really got a good deal getting this off eBay. But uh, this was a really great choice because of some of the features it has. And I'm going to link to some more reviews and things you can check out about this keyboard if you are interested. So I'm just going to do like a really quick unboxing and a quick uh, general overview about some of the features that it has, but let's just go ahead and jump into that and let's get this thing unboxed. So now I went ahead and just hooked up the uh, charging base. I just want to show you how it operates when you put this on the charging bay. So this again slides down just like that. You see a little LED action went on there. And what it also has, which I really like, is this battery indicator here to the left. This is showing me the status of how, of how much it is charged up. It has an internal battery on it and it says that if I charge it for 10 minutes, I can use it for four a day. If I charge it for four hours, it can last up to almost two months. And of course, that's when you're not really using it that much. But uh, to be able to have it for two months or even a month or a week, I mean, it's really a good deal here. So I really like that uh, the battery that they have in it. And now just to give you some uh, general features of the keyboard, I'm just going to switch it on. And the way that you do that is, I'm going to take it off the bay. To the right here, it actually has a switch that you push downward. And that turns the keyboard on, as you can see. I'm just going to move the charging bay back a little bit. So, starting over here to the left, what we have is a uh, launch key or a sleep key. Launch sleep key for the iMac to put it to sleep. Then we have some media keys for the iTunes. And then we have a left click for the uh the mouse. So you can use this keyboard uh, without using a mouse as well. So I really like that feature. Then here at the top we have the basic keys that uh, come on the regular uh, Mac keyboard. 
and we have the regular escape key, we have the brightness keys, we have the expose, we have the um, dashboard key, and the mail can, you know, just the standard key. So I really won't go into all of this here. And we have, of course, the eject key. So now coming over here to the touch disc touchpad is what it's called. And when I touch this uh, touchpad, you can see that the LEDs light up to show that it is active. It has hyper fast scrolling. I can scroll up or down or left to right. And it has a basic left and right click. And then up above that, we have the mute button to mute your music. And what a lot of people like about this keyboard is as you scroll your finger up or down, it controls your, your volume. So that's really a nice feature. You can kind of hear the uh, volume status in the background here. Then it also has front row button up here. And of course, to the right here, it has the power LED. So while it is a really nice keyboard to show you the thickness or how thin it is compared to the regular uh, default keyboard side by side comparison here. So it's a really thin keyboard for all the features that it has included into it. So I'm really not disappointed at all. Um, really, so far I really like it and what I really haven't seen so far in most YouTube videos that uh do a review on these uh, keyboards for the Mac edition is how this looks with the new 27 inch iMac again I, I like the way the keyboard looks and it has to look a certain way before I buy it even though it is comfortable I kind of like my workspace to look neat and clean so let's just go ahead and put it with the iMac and, and see how it looks alright so here we are we're back and I have replaced the keyboard with the Logitech DeNovo keyboard and as you see it really looks nice with the 27 inch iMac it really matches it and again the aluminum uh, hand rest really uh, touches that aluminum base on the, the iMac so again I will be replacing that magic mouse pretty soon with something else but I will do that in another video but uh, this keyboard is mostly like a media keyboard so I want to show you an example of how you can take advantage of this keyboard in a, another way Alright, so let's just say I just had a long day and I really don't feel like sitting at my desk to work or if I just feel like watching a movie on my iMac, uh, I could do that. And I'm about five feet away probably from my desk here, sitting on my bed. And say I just want to watch a movie. The iMac is big enough for me to be able to see it. Again, as you can see here, I'm controlling it. Let's see if I want to open, uh, say, I have Netflix, pretty decent service for $8 and something a month. Uh, I'm just going to choose any movie here. I'm using the hyper scrolling right now. And I don't know, it's just going to play. I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, so, yeah, it's really easy to use, even though it's small, but it's really easy to use here. It's really like using like a laptop or something like that. And of course, I can use this uh, left click button over here. See how this works. Hmm, that works pretty well too. So it's really a really nice media keyboard if you just want to control things from a distance. Maybe have some music or something going on. And of course, I can put that in full screen and just adjust the volume. Okay, so this must be a really old movie. <laughs> Didn't mean to pick one really that old, but uh, yeah, you get the point. It's a really decent keyboard, and again, I paid seventy-nine dollars for it. I mean, it's originally priced about uh, I think one hundred fifty-nine dollars, at least for the PC edition. So, hope you like this video. Provide enough information if you do have a Mac or if you just in a technology like I am and you just feel like checking out this video. So, again, subscribe, let your friends know, and uh, thanks for viewing. And I'll see you next time.